Now I want to do a video on how to do the lattice parameter calculation integrated with bash scripting so that we can do our processing much easier. So uh, as you know in my previous videos I have told how to calculate the lattice parameter for a particular potential file. So here are my script files as you've seen and here is the text file uh, which I am using to calculate the lattice parameter. Here I use the box relax command to to relax the system and to get the equilibrium uh, size of the system. And here I am printing the length. So the length is the lattice parameter and I am printing the length by with this command. And here I am using a cobalt nickel alloy. <clears throat> so this is a cobalt nickel alloy uh, using this potential file. And here the fraction of nickel is like 0.9 and cobalt is like 0.1 so cobalt is like 10% of the alloy and nickel is 0.9% of the alloy so here is the random seed which I am giving so for this random seeds which uh, different random seeds I get different uh, kind of configurations and after relaxing I get different lattice parameters so I need to relax the system to get the uh, average uh, I have to do for like a lot of para, uh, configurations like 20, 15 or 30 depends so that we get an average uh, lattice parameter within the approximate uh, standard deviation. <coughs> so let's see how we do about it. Right. So I have shown you my lamps file and after running the lamps file I get a log file log.lamps. So you can see here after printing this is the lattice parameter that has been printed out and this is the total wall time it's like taking 49 seconds and <clears throat> after that uh, so it's the last but one line is the lattice parameter so we need to extract this and store in the separate text file so that we can process it later right so we when we see one vi one dot sh so here I am doing a for loop and I am taking a random number and in one of my videos I have tell said it go it it searches for this text file and searches for this number and replaces it, it with a random number and I have to give double quotations so that this reads um, this as a random number as a number rather than some uh, dollar $E sign. And then it outputs to a text file y.txt and then I run it with the lamps with this command. Later I use tail minus 2 when the log lamps it's the last but one line so I use tail minus 2. So it takes uh, last two lines from the lamps from the log file. Uh, but I, when I use head minus 1 it just takes the last but one line. It doesn't take the last line, it takes only the last but one line. If I use tail minus two log lamps, it takes the last two lines. But I need only the last but one line. So I use head minus one and then I append that value to the lattice.txt. Right? So now I exit this. Now I run my bash script. So everything will be starting here. So the relaxation starts here. And as you can see, uh, as I already explained, uh, this is the <coughs> uh, thermodynamic parameters that I am choosing to uh, view on my screen. And you can see that uh, uh, the neighbor list is always updated every one steps and there is no delay. I have not given any delay. And uh, so after some relaxation, I get a lattice parameter of this value. And again, the script runs for like uh, uh, the for loop uh, until the for loop ends, or I can stop it in between. And let's see what values do we get. So this is uh, another value which I get. And you can see I'm doing minimization, right? So in the minimization, the relaxation, you can see that the minimization stats, the st stopping criteria is energy tolerance. So it reached the energy tolerance value. So between the steps, the energy is not changing much. If the energy tolerance is like uh, some 10 to the power minus 15, 
and if the value doesn't change from 10 power minus 15 it just uh, stops and the minimization ends there itself so <coughs> and here, here it's saying that force of uh, maximum final component final value is this and you can always see that the force never reaches the stopping criteria because for force to reach stopping criteria is not simple so okay so i got a value of uh, this value again so let's stop uh, here right now and see what other values are we getting so i'll use stop i use ctrl z to stop and i can see what are the files i have list so i have log lamps I have y.txt and I have lattice.txt so let's open this file and here we have this has run four times and you can see the lattice parameter is varying in the uh, fifth decimal or the fourth decimal so it uh, sounds good so when you take the average of this you get the actual lattice parameter at that composition at 0 Kelvin so this is how we do it and thank you very much for watching my video if you like my video or if you have any suggestions please let me know and have a good day